So, what's your natural high? Um, surfing. Surfing. And skateboarding. And skateboarding. Who's your favorite surfer? Laird Hamilton. Laird Hamilton. And who's your favorite skateboarder? Tony Hawk. Skateboards with flips. I know. I mean, you heard Van talk about Laird Hamilton and Tony Hawk, right? He's seven years old. Now, if he was 12, he'll have heroes. It's a little early, seven. He doesn't quite get what drugs are. You're a 14 year old. And your heroes look at you and say, I'd never do that stuff, i do this instead. That's gonna have an impact. So when people like Laird stand up or Tony stands up and they speak to somebody like Van, who's in, in junior high, wow, it just changes the way they think. And all these famous people wanna tell the story. All we gotta do is put a mic in front of them and get them to talk the story out. When I was growing up with my brothers, we'd have dirt cloth fights. We played a lot of sports together. Uh, pea shooters were big in our neighborhood. <laughs> we used to fill our mouth with peas and shoot them out of a straw to, to bean each other. We were one and two and three years apart, so we just did kind of everything together. Losing Stephen and Eric broke me forever. And, uh, and I healed, but I have a crack in my heart. And I think anybody that goes through that is gonna feel that. There's an epidemic with the young people today uh, that's really a silent killer, because nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody really wants, if your kid gets involved in drugs and alcohol, you don't want to talk about it. I don't want any parent to go through what my parents went through. And I don't want any, um, any brother or sister to go through what I went through. You see a friend of yours or a brother or sister or, or a kid uh, get mixed up in drugs, it is so tragic. It is like a slow motion train wreck that sometimes lasts a decade. The thing about, about using and, and, and experimenting with drugs and alcohol is it's a slow killer. It doesn't necessarily happen overnight. I mean, if kids went to a party and one out of 10 kids died that weekend, nobody would do it. But what you don't read about is the tragedy that happens two years down the line, five years down the line, eight years down the line. And um, the really nice thing about Natural High is it's not shame-based. We're not telling kids, you can't do this. We're speaking to them in a way that's just different, that works. So part of my motivation with Natural High was to change the storyline and to literally save lives, literally save lives. One of the most motivating things about Natural High is the feedback we get from the kids that are exposed to our program and the teachers that are using our program. There's amazing feedback we're getting from thousands of kids that are exposed to the message and it changes them. My name is Jade and I'm 13 years old and you inspired me to stay off drugs. Natural High is the most popular and requested unit by students because of your videos and materials. At an age where middle school students are trying to find their way, they have embraced the Natural High program. We'll never see these kids. And one of the leaps of faith you have to have as a donor is to realize this is a message that's reaching like millions of kids You'll never talk to them, you'll never see them, but I can read to you the story of kids all over the country that are being changed. And that's the impact that you're having giving to Natural High. We can't do it with just a handful of people. If you're gonna reach 25 million kids, you've gotta spend money. We can reach kids for 14 cents each, keep them out of prison, give them a killer life, be one of those things that influence them to make great choices. And for $140,000 a million, are you kidding me? This isn't about me. This is about all those kids out there that over the next decade are gonna make good choices or bad choices. My brothers are gone. This is about the people that are still here. And I bet you everybody listening has a story. Mm -hmm.